Hey, targeted individuals, this is your boy Judy J. Back with another targeted individual going through things in their life that they can't explain. You can't explain why people are following you. You can't explain why you hear honks outside when you think certain things. <laughs> you can't explain why when you turn on a television it seems like you see something that's, that's mimicking what you're thinking in your own mind. Or you start to see certain numbers everywhere. You start to see certain color coordinations. And then all of a sudden, things that match your clothes. You walk outside with blue shoes. You see them with blue shoes, blue cars everywhere, or red cars, or just whatever. You hear things. You start feeling things in your body. You don't know where it's coming from. For people that are awoke, people that have knowledge about certain things going on in this world, that if they told somebody, they would think you are absolutely crazy. No one would believe you. So you keep it to yourself because you're not trying to get locked up, so you decide to just deal with it. Just to live with it. Now, what they are doing is to you, which are nothing but the satanic elite that are in high government, those who work with Satan, they sold their souls. They check this out. You are on Earth already. And they're in a certain place in the Earth and exist. They actually are the ones that really control the government of this world. But see, then we have a, a cover of people that are in the most fleshy suits that are in human form that sold their selves out, their soul to say and fallen angels. Get power and wealth and all of this, right? Their agenda is to turn this world, flip it upside down, completely to an anti vice society where they go against the whole world, those against the law, statutes, commandments, the most high God. That's why all of your laws that are in the your country, wherever you're at, that's why they don't make any sense. That's why, that's why, that's why things are legalized and shouldn't be legalized. That's why wars always continue to happen because all these wars are nothing but sacrifices. These people take us to war, so we keep sacrifices. They're not safe. So as much death and murder and chaos they cause on this world, in this world they get rewarded with status, wealth, and power. In the Bible it says that the wicked shall control the world. Temporarily, the Christ comes back. They don't think they'll be judged because they have been deceived to think they're going to live forever. And their God has promised them that they're going to reign and rule forever. And that the people that don't have the knowledge, just the rest of us, everyone that don't obey the most high God's man, is need to get away from that. Because people hoard unions with that side when they're not obeying God. And that's the thing people understand. That's why we have to get away from sin. That's why we have to start to turn away from sin, ask to give us Christ. Turn away from it, then I'll believe in it. And then trust in it. The king died, rose, he's coming back. And we really have to obey his hand. They are taking this world to this new world order. And in this new world order, people are not in their mind. People are not going to have rights to do anything. It's going to be a police thing. People are going to be in constant fear. It's not going to be anything if you just take it out. So what do you think they've done? Created the people that are in this world to be sort of test them to see how their things, their weapons will work on other people. But follow a higher daily dialect. They make a problem and then they come and they solve it. They put us in a paradigm, this box. They've created all the rules. Now you're in this box and they give you certain information they want you to have. The only true knowledge comes from the Bible. The Word of God. That's what you can learn about. His word is true. You gotta become skilled in knowledge of the word of the God. They have a playbook, and so everyone that is not following Christ does not read his word. You are basically just a pawn in the playbook. The Most High God will allow Satan to test his people to see where their hearts are at. I trust in the Most High God, and he's my salvation, and I know that. The thing is, you're like, well, if God is with me, then why am I going through this? So we are going through this so that we can learn. Your whole life is being a test now. You're not just sitting down at the table taking a test. And you have to learn about the different ins and outs of tests to be able to learn how to function under the equations and the formulas and learn how to read with the Word of God. This is a test. Come to me if you can. And once you go through this test, I don't know how long this test will be. Come to me if you can. Because you want that test to continue to stay there. Just like Abraham, we follow the angel. 
wonder if it gets to. These people can read your mind. They have an extra ability to do certain things that do not follow logic. It does not follow anything you could imagine as being normal. They do with graphics, and source in their brain and their mystique. People think against me, against us. This is how they their power. There's certain people that get fast in things. It just to hurt us. Every single day, there's people against God's people that are watching God's people. And even if you don't know God, even if you're just a person going through these things and don't know what's going on, they're still praying against you. Praying to their God against you. Because Satan just wants souls. So even if you don't know God, and you're just somebody that's that doesn't believe in anything, you're just trying to live your life with you. People said they believed in Christ and they did follow him or they were hypocrites. They said believe in Christ, they're the most useful, wicked people you do. And so you say, I don't want to have to do with it. It doesn't matter how low you act. What matters is truth. I wasn't Christ. It doesn't matter what anyone believes. Christ is the Savior. He came to die for us. He's a lover of our souls. And he's coming back again to judge me. You gotta trust that's the one that they want. The only way, truth for the life. Satan is the fall of wonders. We have to do what he told us to do. Jesus. 